Welcome to the instructions for starting click-free EasyFix when Windows is working. You must launch EasyFix before the Windows actually starts operating on your computer. You can do this both with the automatic method or the manual method. In either case, you must begin with your computer turned completely off. You'll need to attach the click-free C6 to a USB port on your computer. Once you've done that, you can then proceed to turn the computer on. After a few minutes, the computer hopefully will automatically start Easy Fix, and you'll see the loading screen followed by the welcome screen. And then you can follow the prompts on the welcome screen to operate the various features and functions of Easy Fix. If the Easy Fix screen does not appear and your computer gets to the Windows screen, you're going to need to try again. Leave the click free plugged into your computer, leave the computer on, and do a restart from your Windows screen. This second time, your computer will hopefully automatically start Easy Fix, and you'll get the loading screen, followed by the welcome screen, and you can follow the prompts to uh, operate Easy Fix. However, if it doesn't work, you're going to need to try the manual method. To do so, you're going to have to modify your computer's boot order. Sounds complex, but we'll try to guide you nicely through the process. Step 1. You'll need to find your computer's boot order key. Common keys can include F2, F12, or Escape. Now every computer is manufactured differently, so they all have a different boot order key. We'll try to help you find the right boot order key for your computer. There are five ways that you can look up your boot order key. Number one is to check your computer user manual. Check the index for boot. Second, you could contact the support center of your computer's manufacturer. Ask how to change your boot order. Third, you can search it online, Google, Yahoo, Bing, any search engine. Type in the phrase boot order for, and then insert your computer make and model. Fourth, you can come to the clickfree.com website, where we've created a page that lists many keys to popular computer models. And finally, number five, if you know how to find the boot order from your computer's boot screen, you can just proceed to get it that way. Once you've got your boot order key, we'll proceed to step two. You will need to restart your computer again from the Windows screen, and when it starts up, you're going to look for a screen that says the word boot on it. It'll possibly be a blue or black screen, and it will contain a lot of white text. Every computer is different, but you'll see screens sort of like these. When these screens appear, you're going to want to start to push that boot order key repeatedly until it's uh, successful. You'll know you're successful if your boot menu screen appears. Again, every computer has a slightly different boot menu screen. Here are three examples of what you might see. It'll be something like this. Now, you're going to want to select through this boot menu screen the click-free device. It could show up as click-free or CD-DVD or USB HDD, which is hard drive, or a USB CD-ROM. See which one looks most like one of these and click on it and press Enter. If you've chosen the right device, it will launch Easy Fix from the click free, and you'll see the loading screen, you'll see the welcome screen, and you can follow the Easy Fix prompts and begin to operate Easy Fix. If unsuccessful and the Windows screen pops up again, you're going to need to do the restart of your computer on the Windows screen and repeat step two and three again until you're successful. It may take a few times because your computer doesn't give you much time to get that boot order key in there. But be patient, keep trying, you will get Easy Fix launched. You will see the loading screen and eventually you will see the welcome screen and you can follow the easy fix prompts to operate easy fix. We'd like to thank you for purchasing ClickFree C6 and hope you enjoy the great features of easy fix.